I'm Staff Sergeant Adrian Doctor, and I'm a trumpet player in the United States Army Band Pershing Zone. This video is going to be all about assembly, um, playing position, and hand position when playing our trumpets or cornets. So here's my case. Just a reminder that you want to keep the case on the floor um, as you are opening it up. It just reduces any chance of the instrument falling out. Um, so I'm going to open, unlatch my case here and open it up. I'm going to be using a cornet in this video. Um, so here's the cornet and when we take it out of the case we just want to make sure that we pick it up um, in a very secure way in which we know that we're not going to drop it. Um, instruments are just very, uh, they can be pretty fragile and you just really don't want to drop them. So I'm going to pick it up by the valve casing right here. You could also pick it up um, with a firm grip on the lead pipe but I'm going to pick it up by the valves. It's just what I'm most used to doing. And then I'm going to put the instrument in my lap so it's really secure there. And then I'm just going to pick up the mouthpiece. Okay, so I have my cornet in my lap and my mouthpiece in my hand. Um, and we want to make sure that when we place the mouthpiece into the receiver, all you want to do is just place the mouthpiece in the receiver and give it a slight twist. That is going to keep it very secure. It's not going to fall out. Something we do not want to do is hit the mouthpiece like this. It can be tempting, I know. Um, but we don't want to do that because the mouthpiece can get stuck pretty easily. Um, so next, let's talk quickly about posture. Um, I'm going to be sitting in a chair, and an important uh, takeaway here is that you're sitting towards the edge of the chair. Um, you don't want to be lounging back like this, um, sitting upright at the edge of the chair. Um, you want to make sure that your, your spine is, is tall, um, everything is in line, your head, your spine, um, and your backside. So we're, we're sitting up tall, shoulders back. Um, the way we hold our instrument um, is imagine you are holding a drink with your left hand and a hamburger or a veggie burger with your uh, right hand. Um, so with your left hand, you're going to put your, um, your hand around the valves like this. Um, and we are going to put the right hand um, on top of the valves like this. I'm also going to show this on a trumpet as well because probably more of us are going to be playing trumpets rather than cornets. All right, so I'm back with my trumpet now um, and let's talk more about holding our instrument. So if you notice, many trumpets have rings on them and that's where we place our fingers. So we're going to put our ring finger in this ring here and then we're going to put our thumb into this ring here. And that allows us to operate these slides. You don't need to worry about those quite yet, um, but that's where you're gonna place your, your fingers and your hands just wrap around the valve casing there. Um, your right hand, now your left hand is gonna carry the weight of the instrument. Um, your, left, your right hand, its only job really is to operate the valves, okay? So your first finger goes on the first valve, second and third, and then your thumb is gonna go underneath the lead pipe here so it goes kind of like this. And then your pinky is gonna rest on top of this ring. Um, this ring is here so we can hold our instrument with um, just one hand if we need to, if we need to turn our music really quick. Um, but uh, generally speaking, you do not need to hold your, um, your trumpet, the weight of the trumpet in your right hand. The weight of the trumpet goes in your left hand, your right hand just rests on top and operates the valves. When you press the valves down, um, put your hand down at your side, bring it up. Notice that your fingers are curled like this. We want to uh, press the valves down in the same fashion with our cr fingers curled. You should really be able to look through your hand like this. It forms a C, place on top of the valves, um, and you're also going to play with the pad of your finger um, like that. Okay, so you're pressing the valves down um, with the pad of your finger and with your fingers curled. Um, when we bring our instrument up to play, just remember that you're sitting, once again, with great posture, you're sitting up tall, and you bring your trumpet or cornet to you, not the other way around. So I'm sitting tall, I feel confident, my head is up, and then I bring my trumpet up to play like this. Um, and then the angle of your instrument um, is really dependent on the way um, you form your lips when you play. But for most people, um, the, bell, the bell is going to be up, um, not above 90 degrees, but generally up like this. I hope you found this video to be helpful 
and um, I hope you enjoy playing the trumpet as much as I do.